What's going on YouTube? I'm gonna gonna show an update on all the clutches here. Um, I have four out of six girls laid. Um, one girl had all slugs. The other girl didn't make it through the birth, so her whole clutch died with her. Um, but we still have four clutches. This one is due to hatch or start the pip. Um, any time between Friday and Monday. Monday will be 55 days, but my incubator was running pretty hot. I'm going to candle them so that you can see. I don't know if we're going to be able to see too much. Oh, yeah, you can see a lot there. So, pretty excited about this one. You can see the snake right there on the side. Um, so, between Friday and Monday, tune in for this one. We're going to cut that one this week or Monday. <laughs> um, this was the last clutch laid. Um, all, all eggs look good. They're kind of dimpling. And I'm about to go into that in a minute. This was from the Het Caramel or Pops Het Caramel. They all look good. I'm not really trying to candle them oh really this is just doing a quick check this one here was from the really unique um, normal 3x made it except after incubation one egg died which I may try to peel away here uh, this one is really wrinkled and it's too early for it to be wrinkled and I'm gonna go into why I believe that is and this one here is pretty plump. Now, I'll keep the count, the uh, flashlights for better lighting. As you see, I use three different types of medium for incubation. Incubation medium, whatever you want to call it. This one here is my preferred. It's vermiculite, like a medium size grade, which you can see it looks like little pebbles. That's the most popular type that that's used today, and I always do great with that. This here is also vermiculite, but it's fine grade. Um, it's not my choice. It was kind of what was available, and why I decided to make this video because I had all kind of mediums that were available and I decided to go ahead and use them. This one here, it doesn't hold your humidity as well as the the medium grade. The fine grade tend to dry up a little faster. There's not areas, it creases in between each, I'll use the word pebble, <laughs> that can kind of hold the water. There's less water being held there. Um, it's still all of these are one-to-one -one ratio, but this dries up a little bit faster because there's nowhere to water to grow and I mean to not grow but to kind of sit. Um, so I put water in here a couple times. This one is hatch right, and I use the one-to-one -one ratio with water, and I see that hatch right actually is is working out well for me based on that ratio some people have used it with no water because the directions are misleading they actually say don't use water and I don't know why they would say that luckily enough I tried that with my geckos my gecko eggs last summer or last year and they all shriveled up so I knew not to do that one to one ratio then it works beautifully as you see this is a mixture of hatch right and defined grade vermiculite don't like it won't use it again. Um, I actually put more fine grade vermiculite to bring up the moisture, uh, wet it down, and these eggs were connected. It seemed like this egg was pulling the moisture from these other two, and that could be possible. Um, it didn't happen in that clutch because the water had places to go and hide based on the larger grade of hatch right and the same with that not the same with here so that's why you see it needs moisture and I've been putting water in here periodically and it's just gonna happen like that as long as they stay good well I don't want to keep these eggs out of the incubator too long it's been 
a few minutes here so getting them back in there and I'll go to a another section of the video yeah just about uh, as far as the the incubation or incubator medium um, I do recommend the hatch right if you use a one to one ratio of water and in the medium grade vermiculite is my number one that's what I look for if they don't have that hatch right will work uh, I mean this far is working out I'm not saying you know that's by the book or anything like that I'm just you know don't take my word for it do your own research but I'm kind of researching it as we speak so take it take it as that um, this is my fire black pastel possible head um, pie ball looks really good the lighting in here is bad uh, they just ate so I'm not gonna bother them and right next to them right next to him is my pastel lesser so they're growing nicely uh, just thought I'd show them right quick and down here look like she's about to strike me in my mid section it's the calico ball little white calico you can see the flaking kind of coming in better as she grows but she's a mouse eater so she's been growing slow she should be a lot larger than this she just became a mouse eater on me so I'm not gonna be mad at her for that I'm just gonna try to pump some ice into her and, and occasionally try to switch her back to rats when I get a chance um, I've tried several times and she just ignores them or runs away and they're small, small as the mice. I get the rat pups that are small as the large mice that she'll eat. It doesn't matter. Maybe I'll just kind of get them grouped together so they can kind of smell like each other and see what happened there. But anyway, that's a quick update. Hope the medium conversations was a, a help. I'm in the middle of cleaning. So let me get back to it. Happy 4th of July. And y'all take it easy.